Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine recently welcomed two students from Tanzania, Raymond Sule and Dominique Agenda, as part of the first student exchange in the college's OIE-funded twinning project with the Sequoia University of Agriculture Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. In my visit to Kansas University, especially in College of Veterinary, helped me a lot. It's well organized. People have put more effort in terms of economic value, also manpower for training veterinarian. During their six-week visit starting in early March, Dominica and Raymond were invited to attend a series of daily lectures with K-State's third-year and second-year students covering topics such as surgery, cardiology, clinical nutrition, virology, and clinical pharmacology. It was very nice lectures. Every kind of specialization around the world you will find in Kansas State University. Dominica contrasted the U.S. style of lectures to what she was familiar with at Sequoia University. Our teaching environment is quite, mostly, most of the time is three lecture hours, and now it's like 50 minutes. In the following weeks, Raymond and Dominica began shadowing small animal surgery rotations and continued with exposure to other departments. I've been in, uh, in surgery department, medicine department, and in, uh, right now I'm in uh, large animal medicine. This, this gives me an impression that, provided that the infrastructure is well put, placed, it is possible this surgery to be done even in my own setting in the country. Raymond noted the experience of visiting the veterinary health center at Kansas State University was quite profound. What is interesting to me here that makes me shock is the investment that the United States, especially in here in the College of Veterinary Medicine, is the investment that they venture, that they invest a lot in developing and the taking care of animals, different from us. It's different from us for sure because this a veterinary hospital found in the College of Veterinary Medicine is, is a setting of human for us. Dominica was amused by the cultural differences in how each country perceives animals. We don't have something called pets because we don't believe in pets, first of all. Like, we don't really know what's the function of pets. We don't need companion. Dominica added she was inspired by learning how much people value animals in the U.S. Now in that case, our quality, animal, quality of life of our animal is really poor. I want to teach them how to love the animal, how to take care of the animal. Dominica made another observation based on a cultural difference between the U.S. and Tanzania. I like the way girls here are. They really know their values. They really do a lot of stuff. They, I mean, they like, they believe I mean, the, on, the, on themselves. That is one thing that I'm taking back home. When she returns to Tanzania, Dominica says this is what she wants to do. To empower girls, making the girls feel like, you no, know, they can, because everywhere, I mean, the majority of girls here, they are really, I mean, the majority are girls and they are powerful, they can do everything. So I want to, I mean, to, to tell them that they also can, they can to do, I mean, they, they will do anything that they want to do. The two Tanzanian students also had a chance to experience some animal health related activities outside of the campus. We visited a national beef abattoir. It was really amazing. In terms of technology, number of people they are working there is highly sophisticated. They were slaughtering more than 3,000, 6,000 per day number of cattle. It's, it's something that I couldn't think of it. The pair also visited a couple of different feedlots, one located in Great Bend and another near Cortland. We learned a lot, we learned a lot. It was very amazing and a nice information to share. While they were at K-State, Raymond and Dominica each gave presentations to the students and faculty. Together, they talked about life in Tanzania and then separately, Raymond gave a case presentation on Newcastle disease, and Dominica gave her case presentation on the burden of animal and human anthrax. As their six-week visit to the College of Veterinary Medicine concluded, both Dominica and Raymond said they are excited to share their Kansas State University experiences back at home in Tanzania.
previously I was I was just thinking outside of inside my country. I was thinking inside Tanzania setting, maybe inside Sokoine, but right now I'm I'm thinking more globally. I'm thinking more internationally than what I have but but than what I was before. If I share this information to my friend here in the United States, it's very easy to improve even livelihood of our own community between these two countries. Raymond shared some final thoughts and expressed gratitude for participating in the program. At the end of the end of the day, we have a good interlink and they share this information between these two universities. And not only this, this university, we think also this will bring a relationship even for our own community.